Hi guys, it's Jez Corden here from Windows Central. Welcome back to another Xbox build video. It's been quite a while since we've done one of these, but finally Microsoft has updated the Xbox One Alpha Ring with some cool new features. So let's take a look. Okay, so the biggest update to this build is the inclusion of the UWP Microsoft Edge, which is pretty cool. It works exactly as it does on Windows 10. It has this, oh, well, I think, no, nope, there we go. It's, uh, it's a little bit buggy right now, um, but them's the ropes, guys. This is the alpha ring. So it has this uh, virtual cursor, as do many UWP apps. And uh, it sort of snaps to the bar at the top here, as you can see. You can snap it quickly by pressing the Y button, and it goes straight up to the top. And then you can do things like view tabs, add new ones, and all that sort of stuff. Now, it isn't linked up to your Microsoft account that I can see. For example, my... Oh, supports in private browsing as well, which is nice. It doesn't uh, synchronize my history or my... Uh, favorites and stuff from Windows PC. I presume that'll come in a later build, but it would be cool if they could add that as well. Um, it's not. It's missing quite a lot of features from the uh, PC version, as you might expect. But it does have things like advanced settings, show the home button, and uh, start page. You can choose start page, block pop-ups, open sites in apps. I don't know why that's a thing, because there's not many apps on Xbox right now. And also, you can change where the downloads are, which is interesting. Now, one of the cool things about Edge... On Xbox One now is that for the first time it can download images and upload them the previous version of Edge which was basically just a rebranded Internet Explorer couldn't do that so if you want to upload uh, game clips and stuff like that you now should be able to do that now as you might have heard while I was navigating Edge there are some new Xbox system sounds which are pretty cool so these system sounds also support uh, surround sound setups. So like um, as you're scrolling backwards and forwards, it should go to the different speakers in your surround sound setups. Uh, there's a new tone for opening apps, as you can hear. It sounds kind of like the old school Capcom menu interactive buttons and stuff like that. There's a new sound for going backwards. And also there's a new sound for notification pop-ups um, as well. Uh, some people have been complaining about them. Personally, I quite like them. Change is, you know, it's, it feels fresh. You know, it's been the same Xbox system stands now since 2013. So it's nice to get something new. Now, one of the other big features of this build that we can't actually test right now is the fact that you can broadcast your Xbox One controller inputs to the web. So if you are streaming on Mixer, uh, it's we don't have the option to do it here sadly I don't think no we don't so yeah so when you're streaming on mixer now with the Xbox one you can actually broadcast your Xbox controller direct to the internet and let your viewers interact with your game directly um, that's going to be a really cool feature for some games uh, it's going to be pure chaos in others it's going to be interesting to see how this feature evolves and of course because now Microsoft let you uh, Microsoft now has the infrastructure down to stream Xbox controller inputs over the internet. They've basically got the infrastructure there to have a stream game streaming service in the future. We'll have to see how that feature evolves over time, but it is pretty nice. And sadly, we can't test it right now, but maybe next time, eh? Now, one of the final big aspects of this build is new club management systems. So if we go down here to the Windows Central Club and wait for it to load still pretty slow they could do something about the performance there if we go over to manage and then invitation requests and recommendations you can actually now filter your invitation uh your invitation requests by all sorts of different criteria so there's a you can filter requests by gamer score active goal subscription playtime recommendations from other club members and reputation in good standing so if uh, we turn some of these on, like recommendation from a club member and click apply, uh, it filters them out. So nobody's been recommending the Windows Central Club to their friends. Uh, it's it's pretty dormant to be fair. We could probably do something about that. But yeah, once you've filtered, once you've filtered based on the criteria you want to have, 
you can then just hit invite all and then boom it just invites everyone oh and there's the new notification sound effect if you heard that there. so that's pretty cool that's pretty much it for this build so far. There are going to be some other features down the line as we head towards general release and also bug fixes and polish and stuff like that. Microsoft Edge itself is pretty slow compared to the old version of the app, I think. So there's probably improvements that they could make there. But yeah, that was pretty much it for now. No sign of Avatars V3 yet, but we'll just have to wait and see when that arrives. I've been Jez Corden from Windows Central. You can follow me on Twitter at Jez Corden, J-Z-C-O-R-D-E-N. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.